Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is I, Jacob Hoover, with another LEGO Star Wars review. And today is a compare and contrast between two LEGO sets of the CIS Hailfire Droid. Um, so, these are very unique vehicles. And the interesting thing is, is that I never really noticed these vehicles being used on, except only in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, on the first battle of Geonosis. They showed up in the older Clone Wars, but I don't think they ever showed up in the newer Clone Wars, like, at all. Like, if they did in comics, I have not been able to read all the comics. If they did in that, then that would have been the only spot we ever saw them. Like, I'm just in question why they, these vehicles did not show up in the in the show. I mean, these things totally destroyed Republic forces at a good distance. Like, they were then repelled back when the Re Republic gunships came in, but they were destroying ATTEs, like, right and left. So, but, I... I guess maybe because of their weakness of being destroyed so easily by gunships, they couldn't really risk making some more, I guess. Anyways, let, this is a compare and contrast video between the two. So this one's older, kind of based when uh, the first Clone Wars set started coming out, as I remember. Then, um, then this one came out just a couple years ago. Uh, this one was definitely a separatist set because when it came with the other uh, vehicles, like it came with a dwarf spider droid and I think a couple battle droids, and this came with two supers, but it also came with a clone lieutenant, phase one armor. So, like, that's the only Republic unit that was available. So, I'm still trying to decide uh, which one looks the best in the color tone because the browns are a good fit but I almost think that they need like an in-between brown kind of that that would fit right in the middle between these two because this seems just slightly too orange-ish but I think this is like slightly too dark of a brown because on the Battle of Genosis I think it was more of a I guess the best brown that would have fit is probably this kind of like this dark tan I think that I think that was I think that'd be more accurate if they decided to make another one in the future. But I guess they decided to add some uniqueness between them. So um one main difference is the wheels. This actually has those kind of like things here that actually rotate. Now of course it really only does that on carpet. If you try doing that on a solid surface like wood or something, it wouldn't really rotate. As for this, it's just these wheels, and they they can. I think they practically spin on almost anything. So I guess that was probably the point on why they changed it. And then it actually has the painted design of the wheels on there. So. Definitely a big change between them is uh, the size. This is definitely a lot bigger. Well, this is a little bit smaller. And um, I think that's great. But I just almost think this is slightly too big. Because, um, number one, I don't think these cannons are that big in the front. And even though this is cool right here, in, in including the uh, torpedo shooter, the torpedo shooter, it's... Uh, it's a little awkward when you have two that actually do shoot off on one side, but the other two are just fakes. Because I think what would have been better is if the if they all matched in size, but they're not symmetrical. They're like these are lower and smaller than these. Now, of course, they could shoot off, which is a different feature, but. Oh no, these were fine. Like the regular, you just push on that and it shoots off. Doesn't shoot as well, but 
uh, the bright side is they do look the same all the way through. So there's always pros and cons between uh, two similar kind of sets. I would definitely say an improvement for the newer one is the back uh, little handle because this handle is kind of like an obvious that you can see it. This is like, like since it's so small, you may not notice it as much. See, if I hold on to this, you can still kind of see the piece there, but when you hold on to this, it's like you don't really see it anymore. So I think that was uh, kind of a nice new feature there. So um, now, of course, with this set, they did not add the two laser cannons that are supposed to be there. I guess they just did not see where they could put them, which is understood. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much on that. And as you can see, they uh, mostly how they did the two sides is they just stuck this piece all the way through and then connected it through. But with this, they actually built around the wheel, which I think was a cool feature. So, all in all, these are both cool uh, Hailfire droids they made. However, I think I recalled a long time ago that there was a Hailfire droid that was made not for this scale, but very big scale. But it was made so accurately that literally it was amazing. I never got my hands on one of those, but some of you may know what I'm talking about. It's like massive in size, but it looks so accurate. And plus, I can see how difficult it is because on both of these, you only get four missiles, but in, te in actuality, they have a lot more than that. I mean, if these things were only equipped with like four on each of these, like so only eight missiles, not really worth making those. Like, I think they probably had the, maybe 32 torpedoes or some torpedo launchers or something per per hailfire droid. So I think that would be like 16 on each side. So I I'm, I'm don't quote me on that. I'm just going based on memory. So yeah. That's uh this is my comparison video between these two. Um let me know which one you guys think looks the best um, and which one's your favorite between these two. And if LEGO were to make another one of these, how would you want them to make it? Would you want them to have like the good features of this one combined with this one or vice versa, that kind of thing? Or maybe even a cooler factor that we've never received before that instead of doing with the brown kind of thing, how about uh, gray with that blue so that it would be like the uh, Separatist blue markings and actually have the Separatist symbols on them and everything. Like I think I saw a concept art on something like that uh, before somewhere and I think that would be a, a definitely a new feature and a, a unique one at that. So that's pretty much um, it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And, um, yeah, if you guys uh, have any more suggestions on uh, future videos you would like me to discuss, if there's anything that you want to ask me, feel free. And I'd like to answer your questions as best I can, or even just point some things out that have not been brought up. So, I uh, guess I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your day.